Have you ever needed to get a streaming key via your phone? Let's find out how to do that. Hi, Stephen here from The Harvest is Ready. I hope you're doing really well and glorifying God in each and everything that you do. Now, here on The Harvest is Ready, what we're trying to do is to equip the body of Christ to get the Word of God out there. So right now I'm focusing a lot on live streaming th things because of the COVID situation. Um, later you're going to see some work that I'm doing here with the Philippines. I'm contacting some local pastors and we're going to be doing some live streams and this is pre in preparation for that. So sometimes you're restricted on how you can get information from the internet like for example in this case we're talking about streaming keys now from a desktop it's not too difficult it's quite easy but from a mobile your browsers tend to default to a mobile view which will sometimes hide some options that you need so let's have a look how we can grab streaming keys from both Facebook and YouTube so you can share those if you need to for like correct collaboration projects accordingly so what you need to do is that you need to use a browser on your phone this is not the inbuilt browser but something like Chrome or Firefox so I'm gonna start off Chrome here so I'm gonna get that started and I'm gonna put it into landscape mode so we got there so here we've got a new tab you may have a different little, little screen but you need to start a new tab and then you need to <coughs> Go to Facebook and I've got that little link down there. And as you can see, it's defaulted to the mobile site. This is incorrect. I'll blur a lot of this stuff out so you, you probably can't see a lot of the stuff that's going on. Now, you will have to log on to your page and stuff like this, but we, we can't be using the mobile site. So what we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to make sure we go into desktop site. So we enable that. Okay, and then we need to change the URL to facebook.com without the .m in the front. Okay, now what you'll find here now is if, like, I'm going to go to my page, so I'm going to go to my page. Uh, no, not there. Where, where, where? Oh, here, here. I'm going to go to my page, and I'm going to find the keys on that particular page. Okay. So here I'm just browsing to the page. Okay, so you want to go to where it says po create a new post. So we want to go to creating a post, which is here. Okay, and then you can see create and you're going to press live. Okay, click on live. This will take you to the live creator studio. Okay, this is going to work. Let's see. here we go okay so here you can see you've got all your nice little goodies you've got everything like that now here what you need to do is you need to say use stream key and you may want to turn on some of these options you may want to use a persistent key or you just may want to use a temporary key just for this one session I tend to use persistent key and then you go down here to live stream setup and as you can see, let me make this smaller. As you can see, you can see the streaming key is right there. So you can you can copy that key and give that, share that, or use that in OBS accordingly. So this is how you do it in Facebook. YouTube is very, very, very similar. So if we go to the top of the page again, and we're going to go to our tabs, and we're going to add a new tab. And this time we're going to go to YouTube. Okay. Again, YouTube's gone into the mobile mode. We don't want to do that. Mobile will not give you the access to the, the keys that you need. So again, you need to make sure that you are in desktop mode. So you do desktop site, click that. And this, in this case, YouTube's automatically changed it to the desktop site. So we're in a good place there. So we wait for it to load. Make sure you're on the right channel, of course. 
okay make sure you're logged into the right channel you click on the live button at the top there and then you say go live Okay. So then you'll enter the desktop version of the live studio. Then you want to instead of set, incidentally, this is how you can stream to uh, YouTube if you're below 1,000 subs using your phone as well, because you can just select webcam and s schedule all of that there accordingly. So there we go. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. So you click on stream. <coughs> click on stream and then you scroll down and there you go you've got your screen key there so you can copy that key and give that key to whatever you need that for whether it's an obs or you need to share it with somebody so you can both simultaneously stream at the same time so there you have it it's not too difficult you just need to make sure that you're using firefox or chrome or some browser like that and you need to make sure you're in the desktop mode. So you go to the hamburger menu and change to a desktop site or a desktop mode. Make sure that the URL at the top is pointing to the actual desktop page, which is usually without anything at the front. Like in Facebook, add M dot. You don't want that there. You just want to do dub 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 dot facebook.com and call it and make sure you go through from there you select your page or whatever you want to go to to, to, to live stream and then you, you go to the create new post section and you click the live button to go into the live studio mode select that you're going to be using a persistent key and also i yeah also make i uh, also make that usually i usually personally make that permanent and stuff like that but you don't need to and then you find the key section and you sorry about that then you find the key section and you copy that key accordingly to, and use it where you need to use it whether it's an OBS or giving it to sharing it when you're collaborating with someone maybe you need to share it on a particular platform so that you can both stream at the same time now the other one is oh by the way keep these keys private they are they give you access they give anyone who has access it to your live stream so please do not share these willy-nilly you know just make sure that you give it to you, you know what you're doing when you're doing this these are private keys these give access to the live stream on your account you don't want someone hijacking your account okay now to youtube is very much similar you do the same thing go to the youtube site make sure that you're in the desktop mode you go you click on the camera button at the top on your page once you've logged on go live and then select stream and then you scroll down and you can see the keys down below there as well copy those and use them as you need to as well so there we have it a quick and easy way to find streaming keys in a phone if that's all you have access to at that particular point in time and believe you me there are people in that particular situation now if you like what you're seeing you know please like comment and subscribe and you can follow me on facebook and face social accordingly so until next time be empowered by god